Good afternoon and welcome back to Exploring Women Artists. My name is Maritza and today we're going to be learning a little bit more about Chantelle Martin. Um, she is an African-American artist who is based in Brooklyn and she is most famous for the work that she does with um, black and white line drawings. Um, so she does a lot of paintings on canvases but she also does um, street art and murals and she creates these huge large-scale walls or canvases or art gallery walls um, that she paints white herself and then she uses these black pens to create line drawings um, and she creates stick figures and, and faces and and random objects or buildings and um, sometimes includes words or phrases that are important to her um, her artistic life or specific to a certain gallery or installation. And um, what I think is really cool about her is that her style is so distinct. Um, I will show you her website which has a lot of examples of her art in just a moment, but um, she uses these these line drawings she doesn't do a lot of detail it's very simple but it's also very unique and she doesn't only do it on walls or um canvases but she also creates things um on basically anything that's white so she creates her art on white seekers or bottles that she paints white or um flower pots um so she uses a lot of different mediums or materials in which to create her art and um, yeah so I'm going to show you her website. Um, so this is her, this woman right here and as you can see her, her the home page on her website um, includes examples of her work and what I think is really cool about this website is that if you scroll your mouse over the drawings they start to move which I think is really interesting um, so as you can see here here are some faces and random objects and words and if you scroll down you get more of her art so you you can see like this is her style it's very distinct um, and I think it's really cool. I haven't really seen an artist whose um, entire style is this um, distinct or unique. So that's her website. I think it's cool. I will put a link in the description of this video so that you guys can check it out yourself and scroll over her line drawings because I think it's fun. Um, and if you do go to her website, you can click on work and it has examples of installations or museums that she's in um, and it has examples of the work that she's done on flower pots and shoes and clothes um, and basically anything that has a white background so for today um, you have a project inspired by Chantelle Martin and um, so for this project you can just use a blank piece of paper um, and a black marker. I suggest Sharpie just because it's um, very dark and opaque. Um, but you can use any kind of black marker. It, it will benefit you to use a thicker marker just because it will um, look more like Chantal Martin's style. But um, any kind of black marker is fine. And as I said, you can use a white piece of paper or you can use other materials. Um, as I mentioned, Chantal Martin uses a lot of different materials to make these line drawings on. So if you have white sneakers that you want to draw on, that's totally fine. As long as it's okay with you and your parents drawing on a pair of sneakers. Um, or if you want to do it on a white canvas. Or if you want to draw on some old white clothes. Or... Um, you want to paint a flower pot white and then draw, um, do the line drawings on that. Basically anything with a white background and a black marker will work for this project. 
Um, so I'm going to show you an example of the drawing that I made. I just used a white piece of paper, but I might go paint one of my um, flower pots white later so I can make another one. So this is an example um, that I made. I tried my best to replicate Chantel Martin's um, style, and I kind of looked at a lot of different um, a lot of her different works. Um, I went on Google Images and I also used her website and I combined a lot of um, different styles. So like I said, she creates a lot of these faces which you will notice when you go and look at her work. Um, she creates a lot of these kinds of faces and she uses a lot of dashed lines and up here you see a stick figure. She sometimes has a lot of buildings. Um, and she, again, uses a lot of words or phrases that are important to her. Um, so I combined a couple of phrases that I saw in a lot of different works of hers. Um, one of them was, who are you? The other one was, ride. And this is the um, cut off now. So what I tried to do was best replicate her style. Um, and you can draw whatever you like, but if you want to make a piece of art that looks most like hers, I suggest going to her website or going to Google Images and looking at um, different kinds of art and really studying one piece because the more you look at one image or one mural or one painting, um, the more detail you see, um, the longer you look at it. So that's really cool. Um, and I just, I really enjoyed making this because it was sort of out there, it was sort of abstract, and um, it's very simple. I think it's pleasing to look at, um, as is a lot of her art. So, I hope you guys um, complete the project and enjoy it, and I hope you share with me. You can use hashtag loveartsforyourink on social media. Um, all examples links and instructions will be posted on the ASI blog under multicultural lesson plans um, and the link to her website will be in the description of this video. Um, thank you guys for tuning in and this is actually the last Exploring Women Artists class um, for the summer. Um, stay tuned for the fall and I will be doing a new lesson series, but this is the final one. Um, I really thank you guys, everyone, for watching. Um, and again, I hope you share with me because I would love to see what you guys create.